Here's the wheat stick out of the glue fixture. We're ready to cut it to make our two motifs, the wheat and the herringbone. Now, in order to make those two different motifs, we have to figure out what thicknesses we need for each one. They're both going to be different. But before we do any cutting, one thing that I have done off camera is to flatten each face of this. I flatten this and I flatten that, and I've made them perpendicular to the sides. I just ran one over the joiner and take it over to the bandsaw and cut the other side. And now we've got a nice stick. So we can actually cut off of both faces as we go. So what we're going to do is figure out what thicknesses we need for the two motifs. In order for the, to make herringbone, we're going to put a piece of rust on one side and a piece of rust on the other side. The rust is 22 thousandths, which gives us a total of 44. We're fitting it into a 3 32nd slot. So that will be 94,000. So we're going to need 50 thousandths of thickness for the herringbone. For the wheat, on the other hand, we're going to have a piece of blue on the outside of each piece. There's two. One in the middle, that's three. And then we're going to cap the whole thing with two pieces of thin black, which is a total of five. And they're all 11,000. So that's 55 thousandths of thickness right there. The thickness we're shooting for is 135 thousandths, so we need 80 thousandths of actual wheat motif. Now, don't forget, it's book match two pieces together, so each piece is going to be 40 thousandths. So we have two thicknesses to cut, 50 thousandths and 40 thousandths. Since we use twice as much herringbone on a guitar, we're going to cut considerably more at 50 thousandths than at 40, probably close to double the amount. 